Life is a Salvador Dali painting, which is to say that I may be you, and you may be me, or you may be a loaf of bread. But we are both a giraffe's back on fire. And if you had x-ray vision and could see through my skull, you would see melting clocks and men wearing the wind for skirt and women water for watches and chocolate and breaststrokes and gold medals and street signs, all of which are remarkably similar in that they're the same, which is to say we are all different. And we're all Picasso and faces melting into Mars into balls of hot gas. This, my friends, this is the birth of the universe in reverse and I'm still learning to speak backwards. We're time travelers. That's why we've got melting clocks for minds. Our hands are misused. They're gods. Which is to say we're praying with gods to ourselves, I am me. Which is usually amazing. But on those days when it's not, when my eyes turn end of the world gray and I'm not sure it's worth it, I can be you, just long enough to remember why being me is so marvelous. Feel free to be me whenever you need to, and Salvador Dali on yesterday and forever day, which is to say that men may be pistols and women may be orcs and everyone in between and beyond are olive branches and doves. And it is just as likely that we have five necks as it is that we have one. And how marvelous would it be to have five necks, or a baseball for a head, and fish for fingers, and snails for feet, which is to say, if you ever catch yourself falling from a 60-story building, don't worry. By the time you're halfway down, you will have turned into a dandelion. And by the time you reach the ground, you will have become water, which is to say everything will be okay. So while we're worried that our drinks are too expensive, we should be more worried that our drinks are actually a sunset, or a lion, or a million horses galloping towards the center of the galaxy, and that shit would fuck you up if you drank it. <laughs> and the sun only comes out because it gets bored easy and wants to play. It's had this small crush on the moon for centuries, but keeps waiting for the right time to say something. We're all suns and moons, so say something before we realize we've been Plutos all along.